All right, let's pick three mystery markers from this giant pile of Gopex. I did not put um, a lot of skin tones or browns or grays in here because I have actually quite a few of those and I really wanted to challenge myself on using markers that I don't think would have gone together and they're like really bright colors. So let's choose these blindly. All right. Out of all of those markers, I got Pale Lemon, so Y triple zero, Green Meadow G03, and Yellowish Green YG06. That's, that's a pretty good trio of colors. It's going to be very greeny. Perfect. Hey guys, so I'm doing the three marker challenge. I already pre-drew my mermaid, so that way my color choices wouldn't really influence my drawing. I really liked how the sketch turned out. I used a Prismacolor Rose Colorase pencil to do this sketch work and I'm using Copec markers if you couldn't tell from the very beginning. The colors that I got for this marker challenge were pretty difficult to work with. The moment that I looked at them, the first thing that came into mind was the little green giant from the, the little vegetable cans. <laughs> It was it was really difficult to see how I could get these to to work. The the light pale yellow was really easy to just immediately use as a skin tone, but the two greens were really close in shade, so I had to do a lot of layering to get them to darken up. So right now I'm doing the fin and I really wanted this to look like a betta fish mermaid. <laughs> So that's why the fin looks a little bit different than your standard mermaid tail. I really enjoyed using the pale yellow to blend in the lighter green. The darker green just wouldn't blend very well with the pale yellow. If you can hear some background noise, I am actually on vacation right now in beautiful California in Morro Bay. It is absolutely gorgeous here. It's a little chilly this morning and I'm recording out on the deck of my rental house. It's absolutely beautiful here so if there's anybody who is in Cali, shout out to you guys. You guys have some absolutely gorgeous weather and I'm loving your beaches. <laughs> so if you notice this mermaid does have a helmets like almost like a space helmet I wanted to kind of make her a space mermaid when I first did the initial drawing because I was hoping and praying I would get like a purple or a bluish color but all I got was greens and this pale yellow so I guess it turned out she's definitely an alieny alieny <laughs> type mermaid but like I was saying before, it was really hard to get these greens to go darker so you could really see a difference between them. So you can tell right there where I put in the yellow green on top of the pale yellow marker. It just didn't, it just didn't look very pretty. So I'm going in and I am inking with a Kuritake fine liner. I got this inking pen in a art snacks box. I absolutely love it. I'll put a list of my supplies, like always, in the description box below. 
I'm actually very pleased with how her face and her hair turned out. I really wanted to make her hair seem like it was just kind of floating maybe in some water in her helmet. The only drawback of this pin specifically is that it has a very bad tendency to the ink just spread or it just kind of really just gunks up and just ugh, all over your, your drawing. So I would definitely suggest always have a tester piece of paper off to the side so that way you can avoid some of those nasty accidents with some of your ink pens, especially if you have been storing them accidentally upside down where the, they're pointing where gravity is just really wreaking havoc on the inkwell. Now I'm going back in with a Pentel Aquash pen in just black ink because I couldn't get the greens dark enough to really show that there was two different greens in this uh, inked drawing. I had to go back in with a black ink pen to really darken those up. Now I don't know if that's allowed in a three marker challenge. I have seen quite a few other people using their ink pens as I guess another color. So I'm just going to assume that, that this is within the rules of the challenge. And now I'm going back in with a Pentel pocket brush pen to do a little bit of the feathery details on the black as she's floating around in a space rock using a Uniball Signo Broad white gel pen. Oh, her face came out perfect. And I'm not really great at background, so I just put in a couple stars to make it look like she was definitely in space. And she's all done. She turned out so great, and I really love this challenge. It really made me think about how I was going to use the Copec markers that I got. So if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe. I release videos every Tuesday and Thursday. All my social media links are down below. And if you click over to the left, you'll see my last week's video of my art snacks review and I process video of using all the fun toys that I got in my art snacks for August. And we'll see you next time and don't forget to keep on sketching.